Pushti Marg, the Path of Grace, is a Vaishnav sect of the Hinduism, founded by Sri Vallabhacharya G, also known as Mahaprabhuji, around 1500 AD. Topic philosophy It is based on the Vedant philosophy of Ekmavadvitiyam Brahm the ultimate truth is one and only one Brahm and Sarvam Kalu Idam Brahm whatever is there, is Brahm. Ved, Brahma Sutras, Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavat are the four fundamental scriptures. The ultimate reality to which Ved and Brahmasutras refer as Brahm, Gita refers as Paramatma and Srimad Bhagavat refers as Bhagawan are all essentially one. This philosophy is called as Sakar Brahmvad or Shuddhadwait Brahmvad, which is the fundamental doctrine of Mahaprabhu Sri Vallabhacharya. The path to be followed to attain the ultimate blissfulness based on this principle is called as Pushtamarg. The same Bhagawan is to be lovingly serviced in the form of deity as Sri Krishna who is Satchchitanan Purushottam Parambram. It Pushtamarg is spontaneous, selfless and motiveless love for Sri Krishna. It is based on pure love for Sri Krishna. It is expressed only through selfless service of Shri Krishna Siva. It is love after realizing Shri Krishna's true nature. The knowledge gained is not a means of liberation. Liberation is considered secondary to the enjoyment of Shri Krishna's bliss. Its aim is Shri Krishna's happiness. No caste, creed, color, sex or age prevents one from attaining Shri Krishna's grace. It does not know any boundaries, be it time, place, or anything else. It does not require a devotee to give up a householder's life. In fact, one can serve him better by being a householder. This is different from other philosophies that require a life of contemplation as a monk. All worldly desires are diverted towards Sri Krishna, they are then not required to be suppressed. The world is not looked down upon but is treated as Sri Krishna's creation, and thus as real as Sri Krishna himself. Sri Krishna is the supreme deity, all the other deities reside in his form. Therefore, total faith is placed in Sri Krishna alone. In the state of liberation, the entity of the devotee merges into asterisk Sri Krishna's blissful form. However, in bhakti, especially pushti bhakti, the devotee does not seek liberation, he enjoys Sri Krishna's bliss by participating in it as a separate divine entity. Foundation Vallabhacharya is one of the six main acharyas of the bhakti tradition of Hinduism, the other five being Shankaracharya, Ramanujacharya, Madhavacharya, Sri Nimbarkacharya and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He propagated the philosophy of Shuddhadvaita which forms the basis of Pushtamarg devotional practice. These acharyas have made significant contribution to the bhakti movement and led to the medieval rise in popularity of the Hindu religion. The devotional movement is based on the idea that love of God should be seen as an end in itself, not as a means to something else. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Legend Vallabhacharya was born into a Telugu Brahmin family in South India, now in Andhra Pradesh. His ancestors had a religious background and includes scholars like Yagnanarayan Bhatt and Ganapati Bhatt. They wrote several books on religion and devotion. Vallabhacharya was the second son of Lakshman Bhatt and Yalamagaru. Their ancestors had performed several Soma Yagnas and Sri Lakshman Bhatt completed 100 Somayanyas. Yagnanarayan was blessed by Lord Vishnu, that on completion of 100 Soma Yagnas, God himself would incarnate in his family. Thus when 100 Soma Yagnas were complete, Lakshman Bhatt went to Kashi to accomplish his vow of feeding 125,000 Brahmins. He could not complete this task as there were political disturbances in Kashi. He took his pregnant wife Yalamagaru and on his way southwards he halted at a place called Champaranya. There, his wife gave birth to a still baby which they kept under a tree and proceeded ahead. On the same night Lakshman Bhatt heard a celestial voice ordering him to go back to the baby and pick it up as it was misunderstood to be a stillborn. On reaching the spot where they had kept the baby, they found the baby encircled by a divine fire as a protecting spirit. Vallabh was a brilliant child. He finished studying Vedas and prominent scriptures at a very early age. At the age of 11 he started his All India Pilgrimage. During this tour he came to Vijayanagar where he came to know about a sensational debate that was being conducted in the court of King Krishnadevaraya. The debate was between the different acharyas over the question whether the relationship between the world and God is dualistic or non-dualistic. 
Vallabh entered the court and with his unopposed arguments proved that God is pure and non-dualistic i.e. Shuddhadwait. His philosophy thenceforth came to be known as Shuddhadwait Brahmvad. These philosophy is later incorporated in Vallabh Digvijay. During the second pilgrimage, Lord Krishna appeared in the form of Lord Srinathja in front of him and ordered him to re-establish Pushti Marg and propagate the Pushti kind of devotion among the chosen ones and bring them back to their original state in God's own domain, i.e. Vaikuntha or Golak Dham. But the question in Sri Vallabh's mind was that the divine souls in this world too are highly influenced by the materialistic world and their souls and body have lost the kind of purity that is needed for their reunion with the supreme entity i.e. Lord Krishna. Lord Srinathja assured him that with Brahmasambanda relationship with God, whichever soul is admitted into the Pushti Marg, all its impurities will refrain from obstructing the soul's relation with himself and the soul will be eligible to pursue his bhakti. That was the night of Pavitra Ekadashi four days before the new moon day of the auspicious month of Shravana. Lord Srinathja taught him the Brahmasambanda mantra and asked him to bring back the divine souls back to him. On the following day Vallabhacharya initiated his first disciple Damodardas Harsani with this mantra along with the principles of Pushtamarga. This was how Pushtamarga was established. <laughs> Brahmsambanda The formal initiation into Pushtamarga is called Brahmsambanda. The absolute and exclusive rights to grant Brahmsambanda in the path of grace, in order to transform an ordinary jiva soul into a pushti jeev, lie only with the descendants of Vallabhacharya, known as Goswami Baliks, Vallabhkal the word Goswami literally means, the one who has control over all the senses, who Vallabh Vaishnavas respectfully and lovingly refer to as Goswami, Bawa, or J.J. They are the actual and direct descendants of Vallabhacharya Mahaprabhu. Goswamis are responsible for the pushti, literally means spiritual nourishment of all the disciples initiated by them. Brahmsabanda is a process, where after fasting for one full day consuming fruits and milk only one is given the Krishna Gaudya Mantra in front of a deity Swarup by a Vallabhkal Goswami after which Tulsi leaves Indian basil are offered to the lotus feet of the Lord. The Adhikar right to perform daily Siva comes only after one is initiated into Pushtamarg by means of formally granting Brahmsambhand by a Goswami Balak. Without Brahmsambhand one does not hold the right to perform Siva of a Pushd Swarup deity the Swarup which showers grace just like it did on the gopis. <laughs> <laughs> Basic concepts and terminology Pushti Marg because the Lord is accessible only through his own grace. The Lord cannot be attained by a given formula, he is attainable only if he wants to be attained. Rudra Sampradaya because Sri Vallabha's father was initiated in that Sampradaya as the knowledge in this line was first given to Rudra i.e. Lord Shiva. Shuddha Advaita pure monism wherein entire universe is the manifestation of Brahman. This philosophy depends only on Brahman for explaining creation of the universe and it is not dependent upon concept of maya. Hence, it is shuddha. Brahman is true, the universe being Brahman's own creation is also true, soul jeev is a part anch of the Brahman. Hence, it is adwait. Brahmavada Brahman is the source and cause of all that is in the universe. Purest form of monism anywhere, in any religion. Uniquely, this is the only philosophy that states, categorically, that everything, absolutely everything, is perfect just the way it is. Everything is imbibed with the sprite of the Lord and as the Lord is eternally perfect, everything is perfect. <laughs> Practices Icon <laughs> worship <laughs> Krishna is the chief deity of the sect. Sri Yamunaji is worshipped as his fourth consort Chaturth Patrani and is the goddess who ordered Sri Vallabhacharya to recite Srimad Bhagwat, Srimad Bhagwat Parayan near her banks. It is for Sri Yamunaji, Sri Vallabhacharyaji composed Sri Yamunashtakam. Several forms, icons of Sri Krishna are worshipped in the sect. 
Here are the main forms, their description and where they currently reside. Shri Nathji, Gavardhan Nath seven-year-old Shri Krishna, who is waiting for his beloved Swamini at the door of his Nakunj, personal abode, Nathadwara, Rajasthan Navnit Priyaji, baby Krishna, with a butter ball in semi-liquid form dot not a full ball in his right hand and a small loti a spherical vessel in his left hand which touches the ground. This Swaroop's Mukharvan face is dark-hued Mega Shyam while body is Gaur fair in color, Nathadwara, Rajasthan Maturadishji, Lord of Mathura, four-armed image of the Lord. This Swaroop has a round Pithika steel, Kota, Rajasthan Bithalnathja, Lord, waiting with his hands on hips, for his beloved wife Rukmini, Nathadwara, Rajasthan, Pandharpur, Maharashtra Dwarikadishji, Lord of Dwarika, four-armed image of the Lord. This Swaroop has a square Pithika steel, Kakaroli, Rajasthan Gokulnathji, Lord of Gokul, four-armed image of the Lord, lifting the mountain and playing his flute. He is accompanied by two Swaminis, Gokul, up Gokul Chandramaji, the moon of Gokul, dark wooden image of the Lord playing a flute. He has a trabangi posture i.e. bent from three sides, the neck, waist and legs, Kamvan, R.J. Maiden Mohanji, Lord playing his flute during the Rasa Utsava. This Swaroop is accompanied by Swamini, Kamvan, R.J. Bal Krishnaji, baby Krishna, with a butter ball in his right hand, Surat, Gujarat, Natavarlalji dancing Krishna Ahmedabad Gujarat asterisk Kalyanraiji Krishna with four arms and having triangle Pitika steel. Vidodra Gujarat asterisk Mukandraiji baby Krishna crawling with butter. Varanasi up. Topic <laughs> Pushtamarg Siva Prakar devotional worship in Pushtamarg. Siva is a key element of worship in Pushti Marg. All followers are expected to do Siva to their personal icon of Krishna. In Pushti Marg, where the descendants of Srimad Vallabhcharyaji reside and perform Siva of their own idol of Sri Krishna is called a Haveli, literally a mansion. Here the Siva of Thakurji Shri Krishna is performed with the Bhaav of the Nandalaya. There is a daily routine of allowing the laity to have Darshan, adore the divine icon eight times a day. The Vallabhkal adorn the icon in keeping with Pushti traditions and follow a colorful calendar of festivals. Some of the important aspects of Pushtamarg Siva are Raag playing and hearing traditional Haveli music Bhog offering pure vegetarian sattvic food that does not contain any meat or such vegetables as onion, garlic, cabbage, carrots, and a few others Vastra and Shringar decorating the deity with beautiful clothes and adorning the deity with jewelry all of the above three are included in the daily Siva devotional service which all followers of Pushtamarg offer to their Thakurji personal Krishna deity, and all of them have been traditionally prescribed by Goswami Sri Vithalnathja almost 500 years ago. Sri Vithalnathja is also called Gusainji Vallabhacharya's second son. The Raag, Bhog, and Vastra and Shringar offerings vary daily according to the season, the date, and time of day, and this is the main reason why this path is so colorful and alive. Siva is the most important way to attain Pushti and Pushtamarg and has been prescribed by Vallabhacharya as the fundamental tenet. All principles and tenets of Shuddhadvaita Vaishnavism stem out from here. Pilgrimage. <inaudible> <inaudible> Bathik or Bethik, literally, seat, is the site considered sacred by the followers of the Pushtamarg for performing devotional rituals. These sites are spread across India and are chiefly concentrated in Braj region in Uttar Pradesh and in western state of Gujarat. Total 142 Bathaks are considered sacred, 84 of Vallabhacharya, 28 of his son Viththalanath Gusainji and 30 of his seven grandsons. Festivals Pushti Marg is famous for its innumerable colorful festivals. Icons mentioned above are wonderfully dressed and bejeweled to sweet the season and the mood of the festival. All festivals are accompanied by a wonderful vegetarian feast which is offered to the deity and later distributed to the laity. Most festivals mark 
an important event in the life of Sri Krishna. Celebrate the birth of one of Vishnu's main avatars Ram Navami, N. Rushi Janti, Janmashtami, Krishna, Vamandwadashi. Festivals marking the change of seasons. Auspicious occasion of installing an icon at a haveli, past or present. Birthdays of sex leaders and their descendants. Topic: <laughs> Doctrine. Major doctrine consist of works of Vallabhacharya. Topic: <laughs> Commentaries and verses. C. 1479 to 1531-1531. He wrote elaborate commentaries on Sanskrit scriptures, the Brahma Sutras Anubhasya, and Srimad Bhagwatam Shri Subodini G. Tattvarth Dip Nibban. Topic: <laughs> Shodash Granthas. Also, in order to help devotees on this path of devotion, he wrote 16 pieces in verse which we know as the Shodasha Granthas. These came about as answers to devotees. The verses define the practical theology of Pushtamarga. The Shodash Granthas doctrines serve as a lighthouse for devotees. They speak about increasing love for Sri Krishna through Siva service and Smarana remembering. These doctrines are Mahaprabhu's way of encouraging and inspiring devotees on this path of grace. The central message of the Shodasha Granthas is, total surrender to the Lord. A Goswami can initiate an eager soul to this path of Sri Krishna's loving devotion and service. The verses explain the types of devotees, the way to surrender and the reward for Siva, as well as other practical instructions. The devotee is nurtured by the Lord's grace. Sri Yamunastakam, an ode to Sri Yamuna Maharani Bala Bada, a guide for beginners on the path of devotion Siddhant Muktavali, a string of pearls consisting of the principles, fundamentals of Pushtamarg Husti Pravaha Mariyadabeda, the different characteristics of the different types of souls receptivity of the Lord's grace Siddhant Rahasya, the secret behind the principles Navratna, nine jewels of instructions priceless instructions for a devotee Anta Karan Praboda, consoling one's heart request to one's own heart Vivek Dihari Ashray, of discretion, patience and surrender Shri Krishna Ashray, taking Shri Krishna's shelter Chatushloki, a four verses verser illustrating the four principles of life, dharma, arth, kam, mosh Bhakti Vardini, increase of devotion Jal Bhed, twenty-one types of orators Vakta. Pancha Padyani, three types of listeners Shroda. Sanyasa Nirnaya, decision on taking renunciation Narod Lakshanam, identifying characteristics of detachment Siva Phalam, the reward of performing Siva worship of the Lord apart from Shodash Granth's Sri Vallabhacharya wrote following Granth's books Anubhashya on five Brahmasutra incomplete Beshya on six Jaimini Sutra incomplete Beshya on Gayatri Purvamimamsa Beshya Karika Subodini a commentary on Bhagavat Purana incomplete Sukshmataka a commentary on Bhagavat Purana incomplete Bhagavat Dashama Skanda Anukramanika Patravalambanam Shiksha Slaka Tatvartha 1, Shastrartha Prakaranam 2, Sarvanirnaya Prakaranam 3, Bhagavatartha Prakaranam Stotra, Madhurashtakam Paravardhashtakam, Shri Krishnashtakam, Sri Irirajadaryashtam, Premamardam Shri Gopianavalabhashtakam etc. Shri Purushottama Nama Sahasrm 1000 names of Shri Krishna from Bhagavat Purana Trividalila Namavali Topic Further Reading E Alan Richardson Seeing Krishna in America The Hindu Bhakti Tradition of Vallabhacharya in India and its movement to the West Jefferson McFarland 2014 240 pp. ISBN 978-0-7864-5973-5. The Path of Grace, Social Organization and Temple Worship in a Vaishnava Sect. By Peter Bennett. Delhi, Hindustan Publishing Corporation, 1993. She, 230 pp. <laughs> Notes <laughs>